Hello, and welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real-life American English. Today, we're going to learn some great phrasal verbs, so let's get started. Today, we're going to learn the difference between the verb try and the two phrasal verbs try out and try on. So let's take a closer look. They can all have a similar meaning. They mean to try something to see if you like it, to see if it's a good fit, to see if it works for you. But they're all a little different. So we can use the verb try to talk about eating something or drinking something to see if you like it. You've never had it before, you need to try it. Example, they have free samples. So I want to try it to see if I like it. I want to taste it. I want to try it. I don't know what it is, but it's free. They're free samples. I want to try it to see if I like it. Let's practice. They have free samples. Do you want to try it to see if you like it? That's right. I want to try it to see if I like it. Why not? It's free. Now let's talk about the phrasal verb try out. It has two different meanings. In one meaning, it's a separable phrasal verb, and in the other meaning, it's not. First, let's talk about the separable phrasal verb try out. It means to use something to see if you like it, to see if it works for you. Example, there's some new exercise equipment at the gym, and she wants to try out the equipment. If I say the noun equipment, I don't have to separate it. I can say she wants to try out the equipment. Or I can separate it and say she wants to try the equipment out. It means she wants to use it to see if she likes it, to see if it works for her. If I use a pronoun it, I have to put it in the middle. She wants to try it out. She's going to try out the new exercise equipment, so I can say she's going to try it out. Let's practice. Does she want to try out the new exercise equipment? That's right. She wants to try out the new exercise equipment. Does she want to try it out? That's right. She wants to try it out. We hear the T and it pronounced as a fast E because it's between vowels. Try it. Try it. Try it out. Try it out. She wants to try it out. Let's practice in the future. Is she going to try out the new exercise equipment? That's right. She's going to try out the new exercise equipment. Let's practice with it in the middle. Is she going to try it out? That's right. She's going to try it out. And what about you? Do you want to try it out too? That's right. I want to try it out too to see if I like it. Now let's talk about the other meaning of try out. Try out can mean to go and play to see if you can join a team. Example. They have tryouts for the basketball team. You have to go and play basketball, and the coach will see if you're good enough to join the team. You have to try out for the team. So we see the extra preposition for. You have to try out for the team before you can join the team. The coach needs to see if you're good enough to join the team. So first you need to try out. This phrasal verb is not separable. Let's practice. Does she want to try out for the basketball team? That's right. She wants to try out for the basketball team. Or if I don't say team, then I don't need four. She wants to try out. Let's practice. Does she want to try out? That's right. She wants to try out. Let's practice in the future. Is she going to try out for the basketball team? That's right. She's going to try out for the basketball team. She wants to join the team, but she has to show the coach that she's good enough first. And this process is called tryouts. That's the noun. She's going to the tryouts to try out for the team. Now let's talk about the phrasal verb try on. This is when you put on some clothes or shoes to see if it fits you, to see if you like it, to see if it works for you. You try on clothes and you try on shoes to see if you like it. And this is a separable phrasal verb. So example, she wants to try on the dress. Dress is singular, so I use it as a pronoun. She wants to try it on. We hear the pronunciation of T in it sound like a fast D. Try it. Try it on. Try it on. She wants to try it on. She wants to try on the dress. Let's practice. Does she want to try on the dress? That's right. She wants to try on the dress. Does she want to try it on? That's right. She wants to try it on. Let's practice in the future. Is she going to try on the dress? 
That's right. She's going to try on the dress. Is she going to try it on? That's right. She's going to try it on. So remember, they all mean about the same thing. They mean to do something to see if you like it. Try something to see if you like it. If I use the verb try by itself, you're talking about food or drinks. To taste something to see if you like it. But try out has two different meanings. If you do something to see if you like it, you try it out. You can try out exercise equipment. But you can also try out for a basketball team. That means you have to show that you're good enough to join the team. And try on, that's for clothes and shoes. To put it on to see if it's the right size, to see if you like it. So keep watching to practice with the difference between try plus to plus a verb and try plus a gerund with ing because they have different meanings. Keep watching to practice more with this confusing vocabulary. Hello, welcome to English for Everyone. Today we're practicing with the action, the verb try. So, which is correct? I try to do something with to and a simple verb. I try to do something or I try doing something with a gerund. Which is correct? They're both correct, but they're different in meaning. Let's take a closer look. When you say I try to do something using to and a simple action, I try to do something, it's talking about something difficult where you have to make an effort, you make an attempt, and usually you fail, but you can try to do it again. Example. My computer broke. It stopped working. So I try to fix it myself. I try to fix it. It's difficult. I make an effort. I make an attempt. And I failed. So, after I tried to fix it, I took it to the shop. And they fixed it. Pronunciation. Try. You have T-R. T-R together it makes the ch-ch sound like chicken. So together, ch-ch try. I tried to fix my computer, but I couldn't. Let's practice. What happened? Did your computer break? Yes, my computer broke. Did you try to fix it yourself? Yes, I tried to fix it myself. Did you fix it? No, I didn't. I had to take it to the shop. What happened? Did her computer break? Did she try to fix it herself? Did she fix it? What did she do? Did she take her computer to the shop? Very good. Let's practice. What happened? Did your car stop working? Yes, my car stopped working. Did you try to fix it? Yes, I tried to fix it. Did you fix it? No, I didn't. I had to take it to the shop. What happened? Did her car stop working? Did she try to fix it? Did she fix it? What did she do? Did she have to take her car to the shop? Very good. Example. He tried to catch the ball, but he couldn't. So they lost the game. Let's practice. Did he catch the ball? No, he didn't catch the ball. What happened? He couldn't catch it. Did they lose the game? Yes, they lost the game. Did he try to catch the ball? What happened? Did they lose the game? Very good. Now let's practice with try and a gerund. That's try with a gerund with ing. Try doing something. We use this for an experiment to see if you like it or not. Try doing this. Maybe you will like it. Or to give advice. Try doing this. Maybe you will like this. Example. She likes to eat meat, but she tried eating only vegetables. Using a gerund, she tried eating only vegetables to see if she liked it. She tried being a vegetarian. With a gerund, she tried being a vegetarian 
to see if she liked it or not. She liked it, so now she's a vegetarian. Let's practice. Did you try eating only vegetables? Yes, I tried eating only vegetables. Did you try being a vegetarian? Yes, I tried being a vegetarian. So, what did you think? I didn't like it. It's not for me. Did she try eating only vegetables? Did she try being a vegetarian? Did she like it? Very good. Example. She wanted to exercise, so she tried running. But she didn't like it. It was too difficult. So she tried walking. She liked that better. Let's practice. Do you want to be healthy? Yes, I want to be healthy. Did you try running? Yes, I tried running. Did you like it? No, I didn't. Did you try walking? Yes, I tried walking. Did you like it? Yes, I did. Does she want to be healthy? Did she try running? Did she like it? Did she try walking? Did she like it? Very good. Example. His TV is not working. So, question. What should he do? You give advice? Try hitting it with your hand. Try hitting the TV with your hand. Maybe that will work. Let's practice. My TV is not working. What should I do? Try hitting the TV with your hand. Okay. Maybe that will fix it. My TV is not working. What should I do? Okay, I'll try that. So remember, when you try to do something, try to plus a simple action, it's to make an effort. Something is difficult. Try to do it. And try doing something with a gerund is an experiment to see if you like it or not. Try doing it. Maybe you'll like it. Or to give advice. Try doing this. Thank you for watching. And if you want to improve your English and practice speaking more, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.